actually uh, couldn't sleep last night. It's like a kid at Christmas. I keep thinking I've missed my alarm. So hopefully we're going to make good time. Not a whole lot of traffic and it's a beautiful morning. Uh, 61 degrees. So I'm meeting Scott, Kevin and George at the rest stop at 5.30. It's the usual rest stop that we meet. There's Scott right there. There's Kevin. So if you remember, that truck and trailer is the one I borrowed to pick up the Porsche. If you remember that episode, if you saw it. Pretty quick here. So the amazing thing is that Ranger is pulling the Corvette with no problem at all. If you guys have doubts about the new Ranger, it's towing capabilities. So it's about another two hour drive now to get to Stark. That's where the firm racetrack is. And as you see, the temperature is dropping. It's already 25 degrees colder than when I left my house at 4.30 this morning. You gotta get there a little bit early so you can do the tech inspection on your car and check your helmet, make sure it's snail rated. Then you attend the driver's meeting and now we're lining up to do the parade lap. Every car goes out there, kind of familiarize yourself with the track and the lines. You do three laps before you can take off on your own. Some of the rules I like here, you get put in a class that you're comfortable with. If it's your first time at the track, you're in a novice. If you've done, I think, four or five track days, you go into the intermediate group, which is what I'm in right here, which means you do have a little bit of track experience, but you're still not that fast. The rules I like here is you're not allowed to pass until you get the wave by. You'll see right here, I'm basically sitting waiting for the wave by. I'm anticipating it's gonna be on this straight, but I'm not allowed to pass until I see that. So I get the wave by, now I'm allowed to pass. Very good idea, keeps it safe for everybody. And you've got designated passing points, which you have to get the wave by. You can't just pass whenever you feel like it. So stay tuned to the end of the video. It's gonna have some longer track runs. I'll do two or three laps of myself and George. It's not gonna be a really fun video for you to watch us just drive around the track on our own. So I'll save those for the end. Plus it gives it something for us to look at later. Same thing, you see I waited for the wave by, then I'm allowed to pass. So I really enjoyed out here, but I could really use some instruction. Uh, possibly next time I go, I'm gonna see about getting the instructor because it's amazing how much bad habits you pick up and you tend to just make the same mistakes over and over until someone points them out and says okay you're taking the line wrong you need to be here and you'll go through the corners much faster and much smoother this corner i hate it's the only one with a wall on your right side so i tend to take it real easy through here and then you got a long straight and then the bend it's a double bend at the end it's turn 10 and then turn one uh, I like this one the best. Once you get it right, you can take it pretty fast and you turn the two bends kind of into one continuous bend. I really like this section right here. So this is Silver Dancer and his wife right here. His wife is in the FRS. He's in the S2000. First time out of the track and he had a blast. Here's George right here. Let's go ahead and cut to the in car. Can watch his run. Again, this is George's first time at the track. He did have an instructor all day and he got faster and faster. The more practice he got and the more guidance he got, I think he shaved off like 12 or 13 seconds a lap at the end of the day. I'll let this one play out. Again, 
stay tuned to the end you're gonna see more continuous in-car track driving So that's it. What a great day racing. Time to air up the tires, pack up, start driving out, pick up some gas on the way. Everyone's pretty much out of gas. We have about a three hour drive home. They close at five. Most people start rolling out at about 430. But there's Silva Dancer right there and his wife. I think I can safely say they had a great time. We will all be back possibly next month. See how things go.
like I always said at the end of the videos, enjoy your cars, but look into a local track and enjoy your cars at the track. It's a great place to learn your car and a great safe place to race. Again, stay tuned. I'm going to let the video play out with George's run on his GoPro.